Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to continue our discussion on Selenium Python automation framework and we will discuss about some of the better ways to manage the object creation within your test classes, right? So we have two pages at the moment for which we have one of our test case. The test case is that we go to a travel website, yatra.com. We provide the source and destination, date of travel and click on search. And after clicking on search, I search the flights then filter the flights based on one stop and then verify that all the flights that are displayed after applying the filter are actually displaying one stop right so this is my simple test case now this only involves two of the pages at the moment but in your application when the application grows and you have more complex scenarios say for example you are going into this application here so i'm on the search flight page right so here i'll search click on search flights it as soon as i click on search flights it's no more on the search flight page it is on the results flight results page where it displays all these details right all the flight details if i click on book it is no longer on this flight results page this is a complete separate page the booking page right so the concept of page object model is you have to find the common trigger point between the pages right so common trigger point as such say when i am on the search flights page until unless i click on search flights it still remains on the same page as far as i'm doing so say for example i'll go there i'll show you so on this page it doesn't matter i change any other date or i change the traveler details i update the details here i change it to business cl class or first class or non-stop flight it doesn't matter what what i do here on this particular page it still remains here right unless and until i click on search flight this page this section is still here if i click on say for example this particular page right so it opens a new page so you have to basically figure out so say for example in the siatra specials this is the trigger point which will open a new page right so if you click you will see that it opens in a new window and it's a new page altogether so whichever is the linking point between the pages that's what we are interested in and that is what we'll be looking for in order to reduce the object creation in our test cases so at the moment because when we are doing this search so we are going one way we are providing the details let me reduce it to uh, the default and change it to economy and this particular so as soon as i provide all these details and click on search flight this search flight triggers a new page right so that is why when we come to this particular code here the first thing we have done is we have created an object of the launch page class right so which is the search flights wherein we are searching the flights so we are providing source destination and the date and searching the flight once i click on the search flight if you see the search flight method here this click search flight button triggers a new page a new page is the search flight results page and once it is on the new page then you can see i am using this page scroll right and then i'm creating an object of this search flight results page again and filtering it so is there a better approach to minimize this object creation now this time there are two pages now tomorrow i'm going with the booking and there is you know checkout and there are say for example eight to ten different pages will you keep doing these object creation in these particular test cases so that's not a very good approach so how we can minimize the object creation so the first page object once you are created once it is created in your page here we need to understand what is the trigger point that opens the new page so in this yatra launch page we know that there is a click search button which searches for all the flights right so and this is the method where we are entering the depart going to departure date and clicking on the search flights button and this is the method that we have used in this search test flights right test search flights so now instead of creating this object here search flight results can we move it to this particular trigger point right because we know when we call this search flights method it clicks on the search button and just after clicking on the search button it moves to the next page so when it moves to the next page that's where we need to create an object of the next page in order to interact with the web elements on the next page right 
So rather than creating these objects here, we will create the objects of the next page or the connecting page in the methods where there is the connection established. So where is this connection established? This is basically in the search flights. After we click on this search flights button, we can simply create an object after that within this particular method itself. So we can simply say, I'll simply say search flights instead of the short form search search flight result okay or result and once this object is created i will simply return this object right so simply say return search flight search flights result okay now as part of this search flights method that we are calling here because we know this method will return right so it will return it has a return type okay here you you'll see that it has return it will return an object right so we can simply store it in a variable so we can simply say search flights result you can provide any name okay i can simply say search flight result and then instead of creating an object again for this particular page here i can simply take the reference of the search flight results which is returned from the search flights right so it will enter all the details and click on search and then also return the object of the next page which is search flight results page and then simply use that reference to call the methods in the search flight results page which is filter flights by one stop and then get search flight results right so wherever there was a reference i'll replace that and remove this and now i can remove this as well and that's pretty much it right so now let me open the console and run the test case and see everything works as expected. So this is just refactoring and making the connection between the pages so that you do not have to create objects of the pages again in the test classes. So there is once the connection established, the linkage is established between the pages and you know after analyzing the application, it's always a good idea to create those objects as soon as you call the linking methods. So it's opened, it, uh, it is on the search results page. It is scrolling down. It will now filter the flights by the stop, right? It has filtered and now it will start the verification, right? So it, it has failed for the assertion error, which is expected because we haven't handled the assertion yet but rest everything is working as expected right so you'll see that assert item it is where it failed which is search flights py 23 line number 23 which is basically nothing but the assert list item text right so rest everything has been working or has passed exactly the same way all right let me remove some of the comments there to make it more cleaner right so now you will see i have just created an object of the launch page and any connecting pages we can handle in the previous pages the connections or the trigger point so in this particular case the trigger point was search flights wherein when we are cl clicking on the search flight button after that whichever it will be the next page we'll create an object of that and return the reference of that object so we can use it in our test cases right now utils is one time setup so utility class there will be one time setup similarly there will be some pages or the some classes for which you it is necessary to create the object in order to start your test case i'll also cover that how you can segregate the object creation and the test cases in upcoming tutorials so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching